Son asked me earlier whether you could copyright control alt delete, and I noticed you did mention in passing at the beginning something about a patent. So I was wondering why. Actually, uh, control alt delete is, as far as I know, public domain. There is no patent uh, associated with control alt delete. Uh, I believe that the concept of using multiple keys simultaneously pressed in order to do an action was. Already, and the reason we didn't patent it is we felt that it was already an, an idea that existed. The particular choice of keys might be copyrightable, but in reality, what is copyrighted is the basic input output code. And in fact, we used that uh, very significantly in, in the very early days of what I like to call the Clone Wars, when all the clones began to show up for the IBM PC. If they had actually stolen our BIOS, it was copyrighted and we could uh, cause them to quit doing it because of that. So the actual code that does it is copyrighted, but there's actually no intellectual property protection on, on the choice of those three keys. Or Control-Alt-Insert used to do something uh, interesting too. It would throw you into the diagnostics mode, but nobody wants to go into the diagnostics mode. Anymore. Nope, doesn't work anymore. It was on the PC Junior and uh, maybe on the AT. Can you shift? Yes, would you choose those three keys because you couldn't do it with one hand? I actually chose those three because it was very difficult to do. Two of the keys had to be shift keys. Control and Alt met that uh, requirement because of the way the keyboard signaled the processor. You actually had to track shift keys differently. The, the BIOS code actually had to know whether the key was down or up. <clears throat> and so I already was keeping track of whether the control key and the alt key were down or not. And then whenever the delete key was hit, did this special test to see whether control and alt were already depressed. If so, reset. Otherwise, go ahead and do whatever you want. So it was a very easy thing to add. Control and alt were picked because they were shift keys and the newest ones. It wasn't either the left or right shift key that uh, would get used a little more frequently. So you're less likely to hit it by mistake. And then delete was chosen because it's, all, it's almost as far away as you can get. There's an, there is a, an enter key, which is even farther away, but delete is a much better mnemonic than enter, as it turned out. So that's why it was chosen. And in fact, uh, we did run into some trouble. If people were unable to hold down all three, and we actually did a... Uh, a version of the BIOS that it was retrofitable, you could you could load it from DOS, that would make the shift key sticky. The, the, the prototypical person would be the, the Stephen Hawking type disabled person who can't use their hands but can use a tongue point or a, a stick in their mouth, press a key at a time. And so you could press the control key, you could press the alt key, then the delete key, and that would do the same thing. But then Microsoft took it over when Windows came along because they had to do things. and That's why it became popular, because of Bill, right? <laughs> when he used it for NT logon. Which is what I said, which I will point out that no horse's head ever appeared in my bed. <laughs> which is why I threw that in at the end. Even though we all knew why I had done it. But, like I said, I was just having fun.